Hey there, YouTube. So, uh, I wasn't actually going to make a video today, but, uh, I picked this little guy up. I was, uh, perusing Facebook Marketplace and came across it. Offered the guy 20 bucks and he took it. So, uh, I was just going to mess around with it here in the shop, but I thought I'd, uh, maybe make a video about it. I'm finding some, some strange things that, uh, I wasn't expecting because I, I don't think I've ever dealt with a vintage saw. Um, let's get this case out of the way for what it's worth. It did come with an extra chain. Alright, so this is a Home Light Super 2. Uh, it is very greasy, very oily, uh, very dirty. Um, I was messing around with it just seeing uh, if I could get the bar off and just what it needs and uh, it seems like it's quite a pain in the butt this one uh, I noticed I you know I grabbed my trusty scrunch and I was like alright we'll, we'll get the bar off we'll get the chain off which by the way the chain I think it's a brand new chain I don't think it's ever been used uh, the saw's definitely been used just uh, came with a new chain uh, but grab my scrunch flip this guy over here and that bolt just doesn't work. So either somebody replaced it with a smaller bolt or this just came with a smaller bolt. Not sure why it would, but it seems to be a 7 16th. So started pulling this guy off. And this is where I think, I think somebody else got into this saw and just uh, made it work rather than, you know, doing it right. So we'll pull this little bolt off. In here, this guy. This is the first thing I encountered with this saw. I'll get the bar out of here. Is with this cover right here. Now the chain just slipped out of there, but there's very little space in here. I probably can't see it. Maybe I can zoom into it and post, but uh, there's very little space in there for that chain to get through. And just getting the chain on and off um, sucks. It just is a kind of a a bad design and I'm, I'm not sure it doesn't seem like there's any way for that to be removed to make it a little bit easier but anyway gripes aside uh, I did find the tensioner screw let's see if we can let's see if it'll focus it has a little little bend to it so I uh, went through uh, my screws over there and uh, thankfully well most of my screws actually uh, came from my granddad, when he passed, I just uh, emptied out a lot of his spares from his shop. And I found an extra screw. It works, but I'll probably order something a little bit more like the original one, just so uh, it's a little bit more robust and uh, will also work with a scrunch. This one, the it works, but the, the, the slot in it isn't quite big enough for it. Um, so I found that out. Then I was looking at the back here, right here seems a little loose there may have been a anti-vibe bit that's supposed to be in there or maybe that's just how it's supposed to be I'll look online see what I can find and uh, maybe get a part for that if it is indeed missing a part um, coming to the top of the saw one odd thing I found with this th this is your oil this is the fuel you can see there's a little little bulb on the fuel for priming it the oils right here they're both under the handle and the fuel is blocked by this little guard. Um, if I can actually get this thing working, uh, we might we might ditch the guard because it seems to be in the way. Um, but I think what we're going to do now, going to pull the spark plug out, see what it looks like, um, maybe put the, see if there's any fuel in it at the moment. If there is, we'll dump that out. We'll put some some fresh fuel in it and uh, we'll at least see if we can get it to crank. Um, I'm not really expecting much but for 20 bucks it's uh, it's at least worth a shot. And I think what the goal with this saw is is if I can get it running and it seems to want to work um, maybe we'll you know try messing around with getting a little bit more oomph out of it. Maybe uh, porting it or, or you know just some exhaust mods see what we can do. Um, I've never done any of that. Um, I am no expert. I don't even know a ton 
about saws. I, I know how to operate, I know how to use them, but I've never really dug in deep. You know, I had my other video with the steel uh, getting that running, but you know, I'm definitely not an expert, so we'll just uh, see what happens and we'll, uh, we'll work on this a little bit here today. Uh, we'll probably try and keep the video somewhat short, uh, that way I don't bore you all too much, but we'll at least put some fuel in it, see if we can get it running. Um, you know, I'll be... I don't even know where there would be an air filter in this thing. So yeah, maybe we'll uh, look into that in a later video, but uh, well, and I'll do some... some research online to see what I can find out about it and uh, go from there. So let's uh, let's pull this plug out and see uh, see what it looks like and maybe just clean it up a bit. Uh, from the top, the plug looks fairly clean. Let's see what it looks like when we get it out of here. Man, this thing's so greasy. My fingers are so... Oh, the plug's soaked and I was trying to run it earlier the fuel smells terrible so either we got bad fuel or maybe uh, maybe we don't have any spark either so let me, uh, let me wipe this off and but otherwise the plug looks good it looks relatively clean not a lot of build up on it um, put it back in there and get the any old fuel I'm assuming because of how wet it is there probably is still some old fuel in there and uh, see if this thing will turn over at all chain here get this opened up dump out whatever's in here Very small amount of fuel. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't smell the greatest. Now here's going to be the trick. It's trying to get fuel into this darn thing. Let's see if we can. So we got that, and then we got this thing. All around, not ideal. Try to not overfill it. Alright, let's put that back on. And since it was so, that spark plug was so damp, we're not going to bother trying to prime it at all because obviously there was something getting in there. Uh, Alright, switch is on. Choke is on. We'll move that up. See if it'll start. Well, there you have it. Don't start. So maybe uh, maybe I'll get on the old Amazons. See if I can uh, order a magneto. See if the spark plug's wet again too. And maybe we just should crank it a couple times. It's a spark plug out too. Maybe we got too much fuel in the uh, combustion chamber and need to uh oh yeah that's just sopping wet so either the carbs just dumping fuel into it or we've got uh We've got a bad magneto.
I'm gonna take a wire brush for this spark plug too. Just to make sure we don't have any buildup on there that could be causing a problem. Let's get that back in there. Then we'll try just one more time and uh, probably leave it at that for the night. It's getting uh, a little later into the evening and uh, it's time for dinner. Not sure what I'm going to make yet. Wife is working late, so I'm not even sure she'll... Oh, look at that. Got myself a little, little cut on my finger there. Alright, one more time. Could be the switch too. I might have to get this cover off. Make sure the switch is good as well, because uh, the switch is bad. That would keep us from starting it as well. So let's uh, give it a couple more pulls and see what happens. I'm not really expecting much, but worth the try. Try one just the I doubt it'll do anything. Well we'll hang on to the old throttle there and see what happens. <laughs> Would you look at that? It at least tried. Oh goodness, it is awfully smoky in here now. <laughs> we got a run in. Uh well I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. Let's see if we can do it one more time. Well, she starts. We got some sort of spooge coming out of the exhaust. It looks like it may have just that fuel that was in there before. Awfully oily. So it makes me wonder if they ran just far too much two cycle oil in it, and then after sitting forever and ever, it uh, decided not to run right. Man, I'm bleeding everywhere. So, uh, would you look at that? The old girl runs. Um, so now I don't know what to do with the next video because uh, that really surprised me. I didn't think I was going to get this thing running today. I just want to hear it one more time. Let's just let's just start her up one more time. Yeah, definitely a lot less smoke from it now. Uh, unfortunately, the garage, shop, whatever you want to call it, is now so smoky. So, uh, anyway, with that, I uh, think I'm going to call it for the night. Maybe, uh, maybe next time we'll clean it up, see if we can get it open, get it an air filter, because I can't imagine what that looks like. Um, Maybe I'll even try and study a service manual if I can find one. I do want to look into that there too, because I have a feeling that's an anti-vibratory piece. And uh, looks like this piece broken off the back of that handle there too. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but yeah, I'll see if I can find that part, see if that is a part. But otherwise, I'm uh, quite happy. It'll be it'll be a nice addition to our our property out in West Virginia, because I could just for twenty bucks, I could just leave it there and not worry about it. If somebody decides to come onto our property and walk off with it, you know, 
it's not like they're taking my steel or my echo and uh, you know it wouldn't be a big loss but yeah I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video I'll uh, try and get another one out soon I've been pretty awful with uh, getting videos out I'm not real confident in my video making skills as of yet but we'll uh, I'll keep working on it um, like the other video said, we have that new piece of land out in West Virginia. I plan on building a cabin there, but I need to talk to the uh, local officials and, uh, you know, just see what all it takes to get the permits and get everything that's needed to do that. So once uh, once I have some more on that, um, hopefully we'll start a build series on that as well. So uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe, uh, hit the like button, tell me how much I suck in the comments, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever works for y'all um, I'd like to do more of these videos but uh, if, if the channel doesn't grow you know I'm probably gonna leave it be because it's just it's it's not a lot of work but it's uh, I just don't like being behind a camera and I have trouble I, you know, I have issues just talking to myself too it's just awkward so uh, anyway I hope you all are well I hope you have a great holiday a great christmas a great hanukkah i just hope everybody is doing well and healthy and take care everyone have a great night